Welcome back to my VIP members. Welcome back to my subscribers. Always happy to have you here. To my repeat viewers, always love your presence. Thank you so very much. And to those of you that are brand new, happy to have you here as well. Just letting everybody know that up on the website, I have, that is so interesting. Hmm. This may be tied into the previous day's spread. Let's see, okay. Um, I have included a holiday code for Reiki services and personal tarot readings up on the website if that's of interest. There's a link in the description box. Oh my goodness, I'm wondering if this is tied to, to yesterday's reading. Um, yesterday's reading, we had somebody with a fear of commitment leaving to go have a brand new beginning. Is the brand new beginning an engagement with someone else? Because there was a focus on a wedding. Maybe somebody's about to propose. Let's see what the cards show. Okay, whoops, the fool. There's the new beginning, right? Tied to yesterday's, definitely. Page of coins, nine of coins, the queen of swords, and the four of cups, six of cups, bottom of the deck. Interesting. Interesting. So we have Aquarius, we have Scorpio, we have Pisces in the happiness card. We have um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Virgo, we have Libra, Virgo, a lot of Virgo. Three cards with Virgo and Cancer. Those are the signs that are lending their energy to the reading, but they don't own the cards, okay? So, for December 11th, we have a brand new beginning, a leap of faith. Somebody's in a, a strong nostalgic mood. They may be wanting to reunite with someone because this can be a reunion card or a desire for reunion. And with the full card here, there's this focus on needing to take a leap of faith on a new beginning. Interesting. This Fool card has the Magician, the High Priestess, it looks like, the Empress, the Emperor, and the Hierophant. So the first few cards that come after it. It's interesting. So somebody's taking a leap of faith on something that's going to make them very happy. It looks like with the page of coins, we do have an offer. It could be somebody, somebody is proposing. It is possible. I don't see an ace of pentacles. If there was a, an ace of coins with the page of coins, I'd say yes, absolutely. Um, but it does indicate that there is a relationship that's moving to a new level of commitment. So it could be that you move to um, becoming exclusive or you move towards living together or you know, vice versa or not vice versa, et cetera, et cetera. With the page of coins, somebody's coming forward with some sort of proclamation of a new beginning. Somebody's coming forward saying, hey, you know, I want a new beginning with you. You've been on my mind. I've been thinking about you. I can't seem to get you off my mind. I like this new beginning. You know, hey, do you want to go out on a date? Are you available? You know, can we video chat? Can we communicate? Can we see one another? I have something I wish to express. Now, for some of some of you, what needs to be expressed may be an apology. Sometimes we see that with this card. But this is somebody who's going after their happiness. Their happiness appears to be tied to another person. Now, the current challenge appears to be financial with the nine of coins. It's possible that this person that's wanting to come forward may be a little bit concerned about whether or not they're going to be financially stable. Um, they may be trying to do something with regards to their job or they may have been waiting on money to come in before they've made this attempt to move forward. For those of you that this has nothing to do with love and it's entirely work related, the page of coins is a new job offer coming in but it's somehow tied to the past. Somehow tied to the past. Now the advice you're being given is to speak your honest truth. To speak your honest truth with clarity and directness. Not to be cutting, not to be unkind, 
but to just express what it is that is on your mind. Despite the circumstance here, despite a lack of money or a lack of a job or a lack of the right job or waiting for money, despite that challenge, spirit is saying, come forward and communicate your truth. Come forward and express yourself with this page of coins. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Don't, don't sit there in regret of a missed opportunity. Now your outcome, somebody's not reaching out. They're thinking about reaching out. They're considering communicating, but I don't see them reaching out on the 11th. The energy can extend three or four days beyond. So it's possible that, that this is energy leading you up to the new moon. And the new moon on the 14th and the solar eclipse may spark action by this person that's wanting to reach out for this new beginning. So if this is you that's needing to express yourself and move forward, but you're waiting on something financial, uh, Spirit is saying, you know, don't wait. Your happiness is here. Your happiness is available to you now. Don't wait and have a missed opportunity, right? If this is somebody that you're waiting on, Continue to live your life, obviously. They're thinking about reaching out and it very well could occur after the new moon. All right, everyone, love and light to you. I'll see you again soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.